Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting in the car, it's pouring rain, and I'm not at work today, which is so exciting because I took an extra day off. It's the Victoria Day long weekend here in Canada, so that means that Monday's a holiday. So I took today off, which is Friday, so it's kind of turned into a four day long weekend. And I'm glad I did because I've been like super stressed at work lately, like super stressed. And um, so I definitely needed that extra day. So today is my first day of my stress-free long weekend. So I figured, why don't we go to Old Navy? Uh, yeah, and of course I didn't bring my mount as per usual. And you can probably hear my windshield wipers going because I forgot to turn them off. But uh, it's funny because I got an email right before, right as I pulled up to park from Old Navy saying that like something about like a big Victoria Day long weekend sale so eight dollar dresses and 50% off or some kind of crazy madness like that online and in store which is good because I'm going in store and um that happened to me if you guys watched my inside the dressing room at Pennington's the one that I recently posted that happened to me that day as well as soon as I pull up outside the store I get the email saying customer appreciation day I'm like hell yeah so uh yeah so hopefully we find some stuff at Old Navy. If, if anything, like even the accessories and stuff, because Old Navy has like really good accessories. So like sunglasses and shoes and bags and like different things like that. And I've kind of been on an accessory kick because in the summer I always need more accessories to jazz up my outfit. So do you guys like how, if you guys saw my haul that I did with my son, uh, my most recent video, and I got the Sade t-shirt. Well, I totally hacked it up, you guys. So I cut the, I cut it so that it's, you know, just, just, I don't know. I just chopped off a neckline because I can't stand t-shirts that choke me. And then I turned it into a crop top. So of course, when we get into the inside of the dressing room, I'll do an outfit of the day. And um, so let's go to Old Navy. Let's do it. All right, we're in the dressing room, you guys. I found some stuff. So outfit of the day, simple. It's that t-shirt, like I was telling you. And uh, the cardigan is from Forever 21. My crossbody is Guess, and my jeans are Torrid. That's the stuff I found. And oh, and my shoes are a pair of green chucks that I got over Christmas. And like, it's like my third time wearing them. But I'm just showing you the crop top, so that's what I did with it. Let me know what you think in the comments, because I totally love it like this. I think it's, I don't know, it's awesome. Anyway, so let's get into the try on you guys. So this first top is just like a simple striped tank. It's kind of like that burnout kind of t-shirt fabric and has like a little bit of slits on the side, a tiny bit of a rounded hem hemline in the front. It's just such an awkward length. And I find that like whatever things, and you'll notice that this whole beginning part of this dressing room try on is all items that were at a double XL and they just all fit in this like really awk at this awkward length, right? Like if the t-shirt were a little bit longer, it would have worked, but it just cut me off at that like awkward, weird spot. Uh, this one I grabbed just because I love the print and I saw the same print in a different style. It was more of an off the shoulder kind of ruched um, bust line shirt in this but it just didn't come in my size it, they just didn't have it in my size so I grabbed this shirt just because I love the pattern on it but again it did the same thing it just looks boxy this isn't a double xl and it's just like a simple like v-neck blouse um just shapeless and I found that that was kind of like a running theme with a lot of these shirts so this one as well this is like this pretty olive green sleeveless blouse with these um like ties at the front and You'll notice when I'm trying these pieces on. So I'm showing you this one here, this olive green one. And then I have two other uh, shirts that I'm going to show you right after this one, the exact same shirt, just in different patterns. And it's, it just sucks because it's kind of, it, it's a kind of big on top. So you see how it's like really baggy at my waist and then really tight when it hits my hips. And unfortunately that kind of a silhouette just looks so shapeless on me so this was a the same shirt again in this pretty yellow floral and I love the the print and the colors and everything it was it was really pretty but again it just did the same thing and I just didn't feel like I don't know what it is and it's funny because 
Um, you know, I'm going to Old Navy and Old Navy doesn't per se carry plus sizes. So I'm grabbing everything in a double XL, which is the equivalent of a size 18. And, um, and everything, see, I kind of pull it up. As you can see, I'm kind of pulling it up to show you. Let's say I size down and I've done that before with Old Navy is if I size down to an XL or an L, a large, the length is just a little bit shorter and then you know, they fit me more like a crop, but at least it doesn't look shapeless. So here I just tucked the exact same. So this is the third one, the exact same shirt, and I've tucked it in a little bit and it, it does help. Uh, it definitely helps with the shape of the top, but I still wasn't like that thrilled with it. Like it's still, it was pretty though, like the colors and everything. So, I mean, if you guys are not as hippie as me, or have as much butt as me and all that. And you know, these tops I think would look really, really good if you are cut, if your your figure is just a little bit more straight because I think they're, they're, they're really cute and everything else. So, okay, so this is the first top that I tried and this one was, I'll show you right away, but this one was in a medium, but it was a very, very stretchy um, t-shirt kind of fabric. It had a high neck. And so it was really nice and fitted on top and immediately it just gives me a little bit more shape, if you guys can tell, because it's not as baggy at the waist. So suddenly um, it's not looking boxy. And it was really, really pretty. I really liked the pattern and the floral print. That's a thing, like Old Navy, that the, the patterns and the florals on uh, that they are carrying for the summer is they're just like, they're awesome. So this was like an off the shoulder ruched. Um, I guess it's kind of like a baby doll. And they had it in a lot of different prints. I grabbed it in this cream color just because they were out of the double XL in a lot of the uh, different prints that they have the same top in. And I thought it was cute. I think it just it needed to be just a, like an inch, like an inch, inch and a half longer and it would have been really, really cute. It just, again, it was at that awkward kind of length that just isn't, just doesn't work for me. So it's like either you're a crop top or you're like a full on like, you know, hit me like right at the top of the thighs kind of length. Uh, otherwise it just won't work. So this top was really pretty. So. And I'm going to show you this top again later in a smaller size and you'll see the difference. But this was in the double XL again and it was just a black uh, floral kind of off the shoulder with these like flutter sleeves and these spaghetti straps. It was really, really pretty. But again, it did that bunching at the waist, which again, just looked boxy on me. And yeah, but you know, this first time around when I was grabbing stuff this first time around, I was... Um, grabbing everything in a double XL. And you'll see later on in the try on when I go back for like my second round of items, I stop grabbing just double XLs and I start actually focusing on the fabric of the tops and you'll totally see the difference when I come to that. So, so yeah, so this was the last one that I tried in a double XL. It was, it had long sleeves. Again, it was off the shoulder. It was like a pretty Navy with this like, green and yellow floral print it was really pretty but again when these like these these tops that you know are big on top and then kind of you know not quite big enough at my hips it's like you're always fiddling with them and I think that's the biggest problem you know with all of the tops that I was trying on at first because you know they're really, really big and voluminous up top. And then they're kind of snug on my hips. And of course the off the shoulder, like that would have just driven me crazy because it just was not staying off the shoulder. Maybe I'll make a second round. We'll see. See, if I can't find something as cute as the outfit I came in with, there's no point. So, we'll see. So I went back through the store and I found a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm, we just gotta start this all over again. It's gonna be a long one. 
So second round, I decided to grab this swim top. This was actually in an XL, not in a double XL. And if I had found the double XL in the swim top, I would have grabbed it. Uh, but I couldn't find it, so I just grabbed it in the XL. But I was, I wasn't falling out of it. It was just like a very, very thin strip across my back, which I'm not, I like a little bit of a thicker band. Like that's just a little too thin of a band for me. But the front and everything, it, it you know, I was secure. I was like held in. I was like, I was feeling fine. And of course, the that's that same kind of black floral print that I had just, try to top on it and I mean it was super cute uh but I think I I definitely would have been a little bit more comfortable had it been in a double XL and not in an XL but it was still really pretty and I actually you know I have the same swim top in just a solid black but it is in the double XL and it just fits just a little bit better so but it was it was cute and this was the swim cover up in the exact same pattern. And I just tried it on over the swim top and over my jeans. It was cute. I, I don't normally wear these kind of cover ups though, but I wanted to just show it to you guys because I think a lot of people would love it. It's 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 super cute. And if you don't have a problem like just like showing off your legs like that, I think this is a great uh, cover up. And it would maybe even be cute as a top to wear over, I guess, like maybe even jeans or leggings, but it's not really, it didn't really work for me. Like I thought about trying it on even as like a longer kind of top, but I think if I was taller, I could pull it off as a top, but I think being short, it didn't quite work. And then I found this dress and I had such high hopes, you guys, like I wanted it to work so bad, but I couldn't find it in double XL. So this was in the XL. And it was just too clingy around the middle. Granted, I wasn't wearing any shapewear, but even if I was wearing shapewear, I think it still wouldn't have quite been right. I think it needed to have more volume on the skirt. And there just wasn't, it was just too small of a size to have that amount of volume in the skirt to actually make the dress look the way I kind of wanted it to. But I love the idea of the off the shoulder and the smocking and like the, you know, the smock sleeves and everything else. It just, yeah, if only it had just like the, if, if the skirt portion of this dress had more volume and wasn't as clingy, it would have been really, really pretty. So yeah, I was kind of bummed. And then I found this skirt, you guys, like <laughs> I just like. I couldn't believe it. It was like the only one and it was hanging in a section where there were no other skirts like this. And it was an XL, not even in a double XL. And it was lined and it was flowy and it was pretty. And I just like, I couldn't believe, first of all, that it fit and also that it looked as good as it did. I mean, this this is a, kind of the kind of skirt that I've been looking for for the summer, something to wear with different tops and like tucked in or I don't know like it's just it was exactly what I was looking for and I was shocked I was just like shocked that it fit and this is like technically a size 16 like it's ridiculous I couldn't believe it but it um yeah like even the liner underneath the skirt was not tight it was actually loose so it was so super comfortable and it's the kind of thing that I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I'm doing the sitting test for you. So you see, like even sitting down, there was like plenty of room. And like, like look at the waistband on this thing. This was a size 16, you guys. Like it, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, but I'm not gonna argue with it because I really, really like the skirt and I have plans for it. I have plans for it. This dress was really pretty. If only I, it wasn't as short as it was. Like it was, they, this dress came in a, in a number of different patterns. So definitely check that out. This was the one that I could find in a double XL. And so I decided to try it. If only it was longer, you guys. Like it's just, for me, it's just too short. It's like, that's just like a disaster waiting to happen. But the silhouette on it was really, really pretty. The skirt was really really billowy it was not too tight in the bust it had a smock back which was really nice and it had, had adjustable straps which 
is great for this kind of a dress because everybody's different heights, needs different length of straps, everything else. But yeah, if only it had just been a tiny bit longer, it would have been a great skirt. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This is that exact same black floral top that I tried on in my first go around in Old Navy. I grabbed it this time in an XL and suddenly it just you know, of course it doesn't fit my hips any better because it's a smaller size, but it's shorter. And so I get that, I I suddenly have a waist again and it just, it looks so much better because it's just that tiny bit shorter. And then I can just kind of like, just tuck the front in to my belt and suddenly I have like a super cute top. And can I just say, I love this purple, like so much more than the black floral. Like I just, I love this color of purple. It's just, it's my color. It's just, I love it. So I absolutely fell in love with it in the smaller size and in this color, as opposed to the other one. So I was very pleased with my second go around. You guys wanna know what size this is? This is the other shocking, shocking piece that I found. So this is the same top that I previously tried on in a medium in my first go around. This was in an extra small, you guys. And suddenly again, like look at the waist definition. I, it, it suddenly just like, it looks so much better than any of those boxy tops I tried on in a double XL. So that just goes to show you, you guys, like literally like look for the fabrics more so than the size. Don't just always grab the double XL because you think you size out of Old Navy anyway, so you're just gonna like cross your fingers and hope that it works because um, this one as well, this was an active wear um, top. Again, I think this was an XL and it, again, like because it fit a little bit shorter and a little bit snugger, just suddenly gave me that waist definition that I need and just looks 100% better. Um, so yeah, I really like the, like the floral on this top as well. It was really, really cute. Old Navy. I can't believe how I lucked out, you guys. This is insane. So I'm back in my car. I did end up making some purchases. And so I just wanna show you guys what I got. So we'll do like a bit of a mini haul here in the car, but like i don't know don't sleep on old navy like seriously and i know that old navy like everyone talks about old navy people do inside dressing rooms for old navy all the time but i still think that a lot of um plus sized girls us plus size girls especially like the ones that are like over a size 20 2022 i think sometimes don't think that they can find anything in store at old navy they think that you know that things aren't going to fit and granted a lot of it won't like jeans I don't even look at most bottoms I don't even look at dresses it's very hit or miss because you know if things are cut straight and have no stretch they're not going to work I mean they're technically a size 18 is the max right so you know definitely keep that in mind but I mean if you look and like the thing is old navy doesn't have plus sizes in store so I mean I automatically go in there and think I'm going to grab a double xl and everything and of course most of the non-stretch tops that I tried on at the beginning portion of this of this uh, dressing room is, you know, everything was kind of like a little bit big in the, you know, under the armpits and up top, and then it still didn't fit my hips in the double XL. So the second time around, I grabbed a few pieces in, as you'll as you have you'll have seen, I grabbed a few pieces in like a size down in an XL. And it just, it just made it a little bit shorter, made it fit a little bit better. So I think, you know, obviously I'm not going to get like the long flowy, like, you know, covering my belly kind of tops from Old Navy. That's, that's not going to happen. But because I love crop tops, I like wearing, I, I like shorter tops, especially with skirts, with jeans, things like that. It worked out. So the first thing I picked up was this gorgeous, you guys have seen it. It's got these lovely floral print and the purple is just so 
pretty and summery and this just like screams summer to me and I don't know if I've ever mentioned it but like my favorite color combination is orange and purple I know a lot of people say they love blue and orange but I love orange and purple the combination of orange and purple you see it like even in my apartment like you'll see like like orange and purple combo a lot I gravitate towards those colors and so this one I was just like it was a no-brainer and it was 50% off like steel so it was really pretty and I grabbed this one and I did size down in it to an XL and it just fit a little bit better and it just gave me a little bit more shape because that's the problem the double XLs and everything because they hit at that awkward length everything seemed to look kind of boxy on me and I don't like that the next thing I got <laughs> was this black and white tank and that's what I did so the second time I went through the store on my second time around instead of look just grabbing the double XLs I'm I was looking more at the fabric and then deciding, you know, what size do I think I'm going to, I'm going to grab. As you guys saw in the fitting room, I tried this top on in that black and black floral one. And then I, I grabbed, I also tried it on in this one and it's like this little tiger print with little palm leaves and what looks like like little marijuana leaves. It's so cute. This isn't an extra small, you guys, an extra small. But because of the stretch and because of how it how it hung and fit, I mean, this is probably meant to be a very, very lo loose and flowy tank on an actual extra small person. But on me, it fits so nice as just like a really nice fitted tank, like semi crop. I mean, it's not even that cropped. I mean, it's still because it has that like longer kind of like rounded hemline, you know, and the stretch on this thing is amazing. So um, and because it's lined with black, it's not see-through. So it doesn't, like, even though I'm stretching it out, like, it doesn't, the, the color doesn't change. This was a great find. This is going to work really well with jeans, with skirts, because it's so nice and fitted under the arms and everywhere. I think I could, you know, even get away with it if, you know, in the summer. Because I, I mean, some people go sleeveless at work in the summer. I don't generally... I'll usually wear something over top but with something like this I could see myself doing that because it's got a high enough neck and because it's so nice and fitted under the arms it doesn't look sloppy like nothing's gonna show like your bra's not gonna show your bralette whatever so extra small what what and then of course you guys saw the skirt so I did end up grabbing the skirt. Now, a lot of people, maybe it's not their cup of tea. They might think, oh, it's kind of like Little House on the Prairie-ish, whatever. But I'm like totally digging this style right now. And this skirt has a liner as well. So like you saw in the, in the, um, in the fitting room, I mean, no shapewear needed with this thing. It, it hangs so, so well. It's so nice and flowy. It's super stretchy. And this is technically a size 16. So this is in an XL. It's not even a double XL. And just the way this thing fit and hung on me, it's like, it's so pretty. And I was looking at a skirt on the Torrid website. I almost pulled the trigger last night. I'm glad I didn't because it's a lot more expensive than this. This came up to like 20 bucks Canadian. Um, so, um, I don't know if you, if you guys have seen, it's kind of like a similar kind of like, you know, like, like prairie style, like wrap skirt. Um, I've seen people haul it on YouTube. It's kind of a popular skirt and I've been eyeing it. I really, really wanted to grab it. This one kind of like ticks all those same boxes just in a Navy kind of print and floral. And uh, I don't know. I just, I love it. I've been, I just. I don't know. I'm going to get a lot of, a lot of use out of this. And it's so easy to just throw on without shapewear. I love it. I love it when I can wear things without shapewear because in the summer, it's just so much more comfortable. So the last couple things I got were, uh, I got a pair of sunglasses, you guys, and, uh, they're not my usual style. I usually wear like metal rimmed round sunglasses. That's kind of like my signature kind of style with sunglasses. I don't know, but I picked up these. And these I think are really cute, especially with like the outfit I'm wearing today. And it's something different. So like this little like cat eye and it's like this like pale kind of teal sea foam kind of color. I don't know. I just think it looks really cute. It's not, like I said, it's not my typical like girly style, but I think with like the look I've got going on today, I think it really works. And I think they're super cute. 
the cops are literally like right behind me oh they're just parking i guess they're going shopping anyway so i think these are really really cute and they were on sale so i mean you know the next thing i got accessory again um i got this ring this ring is just too cute like look at it and it's so like I don't know the colors are really pretty and for summer and the nice thing is is it actually fits my middle finger which is where I would wear a big like chunky ring I would wear on my middle finger I don't know and it was super cheap and the fact that you know even though it might turn because this kind of like cheap metal sometimes like turns my finger green and then turns whatever even if I get like a little bit of wear out of it if last me for the summer or whatever it was so cheap that I don't know it's super cute next thing I got was just a pair of these like red top beaded tassel earrings which I think are really pretty they like will stand out I'm wearing my hair down a lot now but I think come summer I'm definitely gonna probably start wearing my hair up again and then you know really cute earrings to go with my outfits will come in handy and I just like the red the pop of red is really nice. Something about red lately. I've been like just gravitating towards it. I don't know what it is. And then the very last thing I got is, I kind of opened it already because I was looking at it, but I got this contouring blush and bronzing powder from e.l.f. Just when I was like standing in the checkout, I was checking out all the e.l.f. products and I needed another contour and this came with a blush as well. So I was like, why not? But it's a real, I've kind of like swiped them or, or swatched them already. But like, I don't know, like the colors are good. The contour, it's like a good shade of contour for me anyway. I like a really, really simple contour and I like something that is more of a warmer tone. The blush is seriously like, I don't know, it's, to me, this isn't really a blush. It might give you a little a little hint of color but it's not like a super blush blush whatever anyway i don't want this to be crazy long but i have a feeling that this video already is really really long just because of the amount of stuff that i tried on but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope uh you guys check out old navy uh especially if you've never been or if you think that you size out of old navy give it a try anyway because you would be surprised I wear like a solid like 22, 24 on the bottom and I just bought a size 16 skirt. So, you know, anyway, I hope you guys are having a great long weekend. If you're in Canada, I hope you enjoy your Victoria Day long weekend and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.